hell. There's no heaven and hell. You're being judgmental. Oh, you won't pay Jesus, but you'll paint a Buddha. Who said I painted a Buddha? But you have a Buddha statue there. Yeah, I painted that going through my journey. Hey, what's up, guys? So we are downtown Orlando, and as you can see right here, this dope hippie-looking spot. I want to see if she'll actually draw a painting of Jesus. So we are downtown um, Orlando and this is this really cool like marketplace type spot. In the Bible it talks about how Paul went to the marketplaces and knocked down idols. He went to the places where there was a bunch of worldly, paganistic, you know, worshiping false gods. And as you can see right here, this dope hippie looking spot. They got a Buddha statue in the front. Looks kind of, you know, vibey, you know, new agey. We're just going to go in there and, and do what we do, man. Just interview her and see how the Holy Spirit wants to move. And I, I want to see if she'll actually draw a painting of Jesus. Hello, how you doing? I'm good. We do uh, YouTube vlogging. Is it cool if we interview you? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. How long have you had this spot? Um, I've been doing this since April. Put my whole energy and vibe into this, yeah. So you're a spiritual person? Yes, I am. What do you think the purpose of life is? To be happy and to spread joy and love to everybody. And do you think happiness is like a temporary emotion? Like sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't? It's your choice. And do you believe that we have a soul? Yes. And a spirit? Yes. And a body? Yes. So like, what's the difference between the soul and the spirit? Soul and spirit keeps going. This is just a shell. We're here to remember all the things we've done and to help others to lift and feel good. I like what you said, like helping others lift up, like a sacrificial type of love, putting others before yourself. And sometimes that hurts. It, oh yeah. Listen, that's what people don't understand. This life is not easy. And, it, and it's not easy to choose to be in a good place every day. I mean. The ego is vicious and tells us horrible stuff, baby. Don't listen to it. Ah, 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 ah. It's evil. Ah, 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 ah. I love your I love. Oh, thank you. Ah, ah. No, I actually, I drew my ego so and I put it on my wall. Wow. And so you know what voice is, is talking to you. So you know that, that there's voices in the spirit room. Oh, yeah. Do you believe there's angels and demons? Yeah. yeah. Well, there's good and bad. I, like, I, like angelic beings and demonic beings, like they have personalities, like they speak. Yeah, people, so, people think you're crazy, yeah, but yeah. I don't no. think you're crazy. I know, I know. I, I know. believe in them too. But I, so, so what are they doing? What, what, are they, what are they fighting over? Well, it's not, it, the whole point is to find who we are. So, okay? why, so why is there demonic beings and angelic? Because you have to, can't have good without bad. But what do you oh. think they're fighting over? Like, because they fight. I, I don't know. I don't feed the monsters, okay? I choose not to feed them, ignore them, because if you don't give them energy, they can't grow. And you've seen them? I don't know. I've seen all kinds of stuff. I mean, Spiritual stuff? Yeah, I have. You've seen demons? And you've seen angels? I, of, you see, there's good and bad everywhere. And you've had an encounter with Jesus Christ? With Jesus? I, I grew up Catholic. But specifically, have you ever encountered Jesus? Probably. I'm sure. I mean, I, I grew up in the church, so... Not the church. The, church. the building doesn't make it. No, but it was an evangelical church. Really? So, yes. And have you and said? it was different. So people spoke in tongues and it was a different vibe. It's not like what... I grew up in Ohio. It's not this vibe. Believe, do you believe in speaking in tongues? I think that spirit comes in all different forms and, and who am I to judge how it comes to anybody. So you believe the Holy Spirit is real? I think there's a lot of things that are real. I believe the Holy Spirit is real. You know, it's what you're open to and what you, how you choose to accept it and what you choose to do with the things that come to you, good or bad. That, that is, that's, that's actually really important, like when the good and the bad comes, like how you handle it, like yes. how, your reaction. Yes. And also what you say because our, there's life and death in the, in the tongue. Like if we talk bad about somebody that's all the way in Ohio, it can actually affect them. Oh, yes. Because spiritually we create something, we allow a demonic spirit to actually have power to go do that. Do you believe that God sent his you son? You know what? I... The religious stuff, I think, is... Oh, not religious. No, 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 no. no. But I don't... Anything with that, I don't... Whoever comes to you, comes to you. You don't choose what deity comes to you. You experience different things at different time in your life. You see what's happening in Israel? Yes. With the, the Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. <clears throat> and they're, they're murdering families and, and children. In the name of Allah. Murder is wrong. It doesn't matter what name you're doing it in. We are not supposed to hurt anybody. We're supposed to spread joy and love. And exactly. you can find those answers through doing that. You don't have to hurt anybody. But they, they believe that it's right. They, it, they it, believe they're, they're fighting for their deity. You can judge them, though, because it's wrong. It, it is wrong. But then people will say, don't judge, but we can judge that because it's wrong. I think that it's wrong doesn't mean somebody else. They, we both know it, that's wrong. It, it's wrong. I don't care what nobody it, says. It, it, that, that's demonic. Don't, I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't even kill bugs. I say, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> No, I say the cockroach in my house. Like, I'm like crazy. Ah, 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 ah. You're not supposed to do that. But I was like, I can't today. Okay, you're lucky, dude. I'm just going to catch you in a cup and put you outside. Ah, 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 ah. 
like a crazy person, but you know, You're not crazy. I don't want to, it's a living being. I'm like, go live outside. I used to be an actual in Haitian voodoo in um, New Orleans and Santeria and different things. And in voodoo and Santeria, they believe in child sacrifice sometimes. They believe in, and it's really bad. So when I experienced those things, I was like, I don't want to do that. So I came to the understanding that religions, there's many, but there is only one way. Because if that stuff, murder is wrong, it can't be that. Like I, so I do judge them. And that's wrong. I won't go kill them. But if they come try to kill my family, I mean, it's a different story. Right. But what I'm saying is like, we do judge naturally, but right. there is only one way and it's love. Yes. So Jesus, right? I, I encountered him in my apartment alone. I used to wear the beads around my neck. Like, I mean, I, I was had altars and everything and I got encountered. I got healed of a disease I had for nine years, supernaturally. And demons came out of me and I spoke in tongues and I didn't know what was going on. So I encountered the Holy Spirit. Wow. And then I saw God's power just move. And I saw a lot of religion, hypocrisy in the churches. Yeah. And I know it's in everything, so I, I, I get it. I didn't judge a little bit and I had to repent. But I've grown to know that it's about it's, God, it's God's love and his power. And the Holy Spirit has power and we still see deliverance, which is demons coming out, people healed miraculously today. Yes. It still happens in the church, the true church, the book of Acts talks about it. I didn't know all of this. I wasn't raised in the church. I, I was actually raised Catholic, okay. but then I had the encounter. So I was, can, I, can I just tell you the gospel really quick? Okay. Two seconds. Sure. So Jesus is God, right? So we're, we're, we're in vehicles. God, an all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere at once spirit, like the wind, right, came and entered a vehicle and had to die. Why did he have to die? Because in the beginning, there had to be two humans that started it, Adam and Eve. They were never supposed to die. They were never supposed to, to be in sin. They were living perfect. God was just expanding heaven in a new physical realm. He just wanted us to have a new reality, but they did what they weren't supposed to do, which God knew they would do because we're humans. And they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They didn't know evil. All they knew was good. It was perfect. They were living in harmony with God, but they fell. God knew they would. And they allowed death, an expiration date on our body, and they allowed sin in which brings sickness, all these things, these d demonic voices that we hate. That's not what God wants for us. So now we have to come down because our spirit comes from God. And then we have to live this life and experience what Adam and Eve wanted too, which was to know what evil is. Experience this material, material realm that the fallen angels, Satan and his kingdom, have created to make us sidetracked, realize that, ain't, that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. Sex and drugs, and then come to Christ and know his love. And if we believe that he came, God, in a human vessel, lived perfect, you know, he casted out demons, healed the sick, raised the dead, all that, to prove his supernatural power. If we believe he died on the cross, he had to die so that there was a blood sacrifice because none of us can live without blood, right? You know, if you get sick right now and you go to the doctors and you don't know what's going on, they test your blood because there's life in the blood. It's a spiritual law. The blood of a perfect human had to be shed. None of us could be perfect. He came and did what we can't do which was live in a world where there's good and evil, but never sin. To prove, you guys tried to be like me, which was Adam and Eve tried to be like God. Look, I'm gonna come and show you that I'm, I'm God, and then I'm gonna allow you to be like me. Grace, we don't deserve it, unmerited favor. And if we believe he shed his blood, and we believe he was buried and he rose to prove that he's God. If we believe those things, we receive the Holy Spirit and we experience the love that we, the, that agape love, that self-sacrificing love, that peace fills us. And then those demons can't do nothing. And then we have power over those demons to where we can command with our words demons to leave and they'll come out of people. We can command people to get out of wheelchairs and they'll get out. The problem is, is that the church has lost the true power of God because of religion. They take the word, they read it, but they have no relationship with the one who wrote it, the Holy Spirit. So they get into this religious, you're going to hell, you're going to hell, you're going to hell, you're going to hell. But that's not good news. The gospel is good news that you've sinned, right? You ever lied before? Of course, we all, you ever stole? Of course, cheated. So we've all fell short, everybody. everybody. One one sin sends us to hell. And the good news is, Jesus came to be perfect. No, I don't believe that. If we are all God, I'm just gonna tell you right now. If we're all God, we can't do anything wrong. And there's no hell. If you're living hell, it's you're living it now. There's no hell, there's no heaven and hell. This is heaven and hell. Really? You choose to live the way you wanna live. I respect your decision. You can't convince me to think of any different way. I don't have a box that I'm in. I'm not in any box. I don't put anybody else in a box. You can choose. If it works for you, woo, go for it. The camera died mid-interview, but the next question that I asked was, should we judge someone who kills and f***s children since she claimed that we shouldn't judge anyone based off of their beliefs? They're uh, killing and raping what? babies. It's, I'm not them. There has to be judgment. You know what? It, it, I hope there's judgment. There, listen, are we supposed to judge? You just judged when you said it was wrong that they're murdering people. No. I, you said, I, I don't think it's right to murder. I, I have no right to put judgment on anybody. But, but just, Nobody. But just think about it. You said Nobody. you don't think it's right. But if you didn't judge, you would say, I, that's their decision. It, it is it's their decision. And it, if they want to murder, it's okay. You know what? It, listen, we know right and wrong. We're human. Okay? But, but how I'm do not, we know it? Dude, 
I'm not against you. I'm, I'm no, for you. But no, you're not. You want me to believe in the way that you. No, I want. I want you to experience the love I've, I've no. experienced. Can I you pray? You don't know the love that I have. No, I do not want prayers. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, I can work I have, can on I have a handshake? Yeah, I work on myself. And what's your name again? Every day, Angie. Angie, you have and a very. I do not. Yeah, yeah. I don't appreciate that though. But what okay. did I do that was wrong? You pushing. Don't no, push. Yes, you do. This is what the problem is when people come on. I've had people come on the bus, act like something, and then they want to pray. That's invasion of somebody's personal space. I did not ask for prayers. If I came to you and asked, okay, you know what, I'm searching for this. Even when I spread my spirituality, I tell people you can go here, here, here. But you're still I, spread, spreading your beliefs, though. I No, I give them options of what they can do for what's wrong with them. But that's your beliefs. And I tell them they don't have to do it. But I didn't. I don't I, say. Hey, I, you don't I have to. You don't it. have to do it either. I'm doing the same thing as you. I don't think I'm um, maybe as bold. How about that? I don't believe it's proper to push. Or do you believe anything. I pushed it on you? No. Well, you're crossing some lines. Ah, I'm just say it. I just. How? Say it. I didn't. No, I didn't. Because you got pushy. You you got pushy. Whether How? you whether, whether you when you start spouting your beliefs that where do the people go that do that that that's a belief that I, I don't do that to people it's not my this is my shoes this is what I'm walking in you walk in your shoes and you go do what you want to do that you feel you need but, but to you do. spread you spread your beliefs too if people come in and they ask me but I always tell them a story about my life mm -hmm. as you did and then I let them go with it I don't say you need to do this 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 but I mean you have where is it Buddha like you believe in Buddha I believe in everything. I got Virgin Mary in my house. I got everybody in my house. <laughs> Every religion is in my house. Wow. They all go together. Have, have you ever painted Jesus? No. Man, if you did, I'd buy it. No, I would not paint Jesus. Why? I don't. I don't want to paint Jesus. So you rather paint Buddha or have a Buddha statue? I, I don't. I see. This is where you're putting a belief that you're being judgmental. How? You're like, oh, you won't paint Jesus, but you'll paint a Buddha. Who said I painted a Buddha? No, I'm saying you have a, you have a Buddha statue there. Yeah, I painted that going through my spirit journey. So I was saying was like maybe if you painted if you painted a Jesus I actually said it before we came in I was like man if she had a Jesus painting I'll buy it right now. I don't paint Jesus. Because I do have friends that they they like during services they paint like like how you do during the service and it comes out beautiful. Listen, I, I have a lot of artist friends and what comes out of you is what comes out of you. It's amazing. Okay, oh, I, I, Angie, right? Yeah. God bless you, Angie. Thank you. I pray the Lord blesses you and protects you in Jesus' name. Okay. Can I get an amen? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, nah. I'm not. I'm no, out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. As you guys can see, very hypocritical, very double-minded, and that's what happens. I'm telling you, man, the gospel is offensive to those who perish. The Bible says it. I, how do you get that deep? And then the minute I talk about heaven and hell, say I'm judging and get mad. Look, that just shows you. The minute you talk about Jesus, she didn't. She didn't even want to paint a Jesus painting. I thought she had all the religions. If you believed in all the religions, you would have no problem painting a Jesus painting. You see, it's Jesus that people don't like. It's His name in the gospel of Jesus Christ. People don't like the ones who are going to perish, but the ones. We're going to be saved. It's the power of God on the salvation. Woo! I got the gospel of Jesus Christ. So yeah, man, learn this. Not everybody's going to receive the same way. I believe a seed was planted, even though she didn't let me pray for her. And she's going to think about it now because we got deep. I love I love spiritual people when they were like real hippie, spiritual, psychedelic, because when we have those conversations, boy, we get deep and they don't know what to say. God is good. It's all by his grace, all by his mercy. And the reason I know these things is because I was just like her, deep into many things. But it wasn't until I had an encounter with Jesus, got filled with the Holy Spirit, that everything changed. And God is good, man. So, hallelujah. I want you guys to, to pray for Angie. If you're going to pray for Angie, if you're, if you're going to pray for Angie, comment down below. Say, I prayed for Angie in Jesus' name. God is good. Hallelujah.